Hello, precious saints. I hope you're all well today. Um, I'm well. I'm just on here with a very short video. I uh, wasn't going to record this word because I was just spending time with the Lord and didn't want to do anything. But he laid it on my heart to do so. And so here I am. The word that the Lord gave me is one word, presence. Uh, while, on, while I was on my way back from Namibia, actually, uh, I wanted to sleep because we were traveling at night. And so I just wanted to rest a bit uh, because I had such a hectic time of ups and downs. Uh, even before I went to Namibia, I had a lot going on before then. And so um, I just wanted to rest a bit. And so as soon as I just closed my eyes for a bit, uh, there is a song by K-Strings, Gashinan. I hope I'm pronouncing it well. It's Hausa. Uh, it came into my spirit. And I just took out my phone, put on my earphones, and started playing that song. And it was like the presence of God filled the whole environment. Like it was so thick, you know. Uh, there is a lot that I wanted to ask God uh, for during that moment. I even wanted to ask him to go before me so that uh, I come back into South Africa safely. And I had a lot that I wanted to ask God. But then I thought it would be foolishness to ask for anything under this atmosphere. So I just basked in it. And then I just came back to Cape Town. And then when I got here, when I got here uh, in Cape Town, I realized uh, that even though I wanted to pray uh, and really do some warfare prayers and I had like a schedule uh, of things that I really wanted to do uh, to just spend more time with God and to detox of people because after I've spent some time with people uh, I'm someone that just likes to shut my door and go back into the presence of God to just sort of cleanse if I did anything wrong, if I said anything wrong, if anything did not come out the way that it was supposed to be, to just let it go. And also to just ask God to purge me. So um, I just say to myself, okay, that's what I'm going to do this week. But then when I started playing that song again, Gashinan, it's like the whole presence that I had felt on my way back here, it came to me again. And even though I had prayer requests for the week, even though I had other things that I wanted to ask God for, again, uh, I just couldn't. I just sat on the floor and basked in that presence. I just basked in that, glo in that glory, like the presence of God was so heavy and so thick. You know, there is this song by Messi Me, I can only imagine. There is a part that he says that um, will I be able to speak? Will I be able to speak at all? That's the place that I was at. I wasn't able to speak at all. <laughs> I just sat there and I just said, God, if there is anything that you need to take away, take it away. If there is anything that you need to release, release it. If there is anything that needs to be paged within me, page it away in the name of Jesus. And I am so thankful because in the process of doing that, uh, God released to me an idea. In fact, the whole month of September and October, uh, God has been releasing to me a whole lot of ideas to improve my life financially and also to walk in the purpose that he has called me for. I was on a very long fast. And that's what triggered everything. But uh, all I'm saying is that ideas and solutions to things that I hadn't thought of just came about just by me basking in his presence and the way that i did this was through worship and after that i also went on ahead and joined the hallelujah challenge by the way if you haven't joined the hallelujah challenge that pastor nat is currently doing i would encourage you to do so uh it is in the in the place of praise that foundations are shaken and broken down. It is in the place of praise that chains are broken. It is in the place of praise that um, stagnation, delay 
things like that are broken and even strongholds in our minds are broken through praise and so uh if you would like to do this with me this week to just bask to just bask in the presence of god to just let his glory uh, fill our hearts fill our homes fill our families um just join me put on your worship just sit in the presence of god there are things about your destiny that you are not going to hear in the midst of the noise that you are not going to hear just by being in warfare if all of your prayers are all about warfare and commanding the devil you are spending too much time with the devil come back to the heart of the father and the way that you do so is just by worshiping it's just by praising it's just by thanksgiving just telling him lord i love you just telling him lord i am thankful that you are my father i'm thankful that you sent jesus for me to die for me you know you know there is a place in scripture that really touched me as i read my bible while i was traveling that jesus said that he could have called a legion of angels when he was in the garden of Gethsemane to come and rescue him and when I googled and when I did some research of how many soldiers made up a legion in the like the Roman um, the Roman Emperor or whatever I found out that a legion was made up of 6,000 soldiers so if Jesus was saying that he could have commanded 12 legions of angels it means that he could have called angels that amount up to 172,000 or something. He could have called up that amount of angels to rescue him from the Garden of Gethsemane. And he wouldn't have gone to the cross. But he did that for us. He did that for us. So this is a time, this is a week of just coming into his presence to say, you know what, Lord, I'm thankful for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Because his death was more than a sacrifice. His death was an act of obedience to the Father. He did that for you and me. You know, after Adam and Eve had messed up the whole world, he did that for us. And so um, I would like to just encourage you this week, bask, bask. And the scripture that the Lord gave me is um, Exodus 33. In Exodus 33, um, what happened is, Moses had just come down from the mountain and when he came down, um, he saw the people had made a golden calf that they were worshipping, that it was their God that brought them out of Egypt. I mean, the Israelites had a lot of issues, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> so, um, and then God said that in Exodus 33 verse 1, depart and go up from here you and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt to the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying to your descendants, I will give it. And Moses said to the Lord, this is in Exodus 33 verse 12, then Moses said to the Lord, see you say to me, bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray, if I have found grace, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way, that I may know you, and that I will find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, God, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to God, if your presence does not go with us, <laughs> do not bring us up from here. For how then will it be known that your people and I have found grace in your sight, except you go with us? So we shall be separate, your people and I, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. In other words, Moses was saying to God, God, if you do not assure us that you are with us, there is no way that we are going. If you do not assure me that you are going to look after your people, that your glory is going to be upon us, 
there is nowhere to go and in other words moses was saying that god um if you do not tabernacle with us lord the going to the land of canaan will be a fruitless mission and the way that you secure the presence of god is through prayer through praise through worship through sacrifice if there is anything that the lord wants you to lay down it is in the presence of god that you will know what it is that you need to lay down if there is any destiny matter that the lord needs to reveal to you it is in his presence that you will know what it is that you need to do if there is any transformation that needs to happen to you it is in the presence of god that that transformation will happen and so if you would like to add fasting to this week and also just join the last few days of the hallelujah challenge or even go back to the previous days and listen to it please do so and just continue praying and praising god and may the lord be with us all may the lord honor you may the lord honor your sacrifice and may he do for you what only he can do in the name of jesus christ just bask Bask in that glory. Bask in that presence. Seek after the heart of the Father. More than give me tea, give me bread. Seek after the heart of the Father. You know what God said about David? I have found David, a man after my own heart. David was a man of his presence. And I hope you become a person of his presence too. Because it is only then that the true and the perfect will of God will be revealed in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that every distraction that is on your way will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that every hindrance and every blockage to hearing the voice of the Father will be cleared away in the name of Jesus. And that even as you sit in his presence, even as you bask in his glory, he will reveal to you destiny matters. Pray in the spirit also. Because when you are praying in the spirit, you are praying the perfect will of God. For the word says that he makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. And so pray in the spirit as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.